Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a static library and how to use that library in Linux. So, uh, static library actually, when you put a function in a static library and uh, when you use that function in your program, that function definition actually included in your program and it makes your program bigger. So, here we are going to see how to create a static library so for that i am going to put two different function in one library so let me write the first function so just take a simple function so this function will take two arguments and it simply return their addition now we will save this c file in desktop demo directory so i am saving it with add dot c in the similar manner um, so this one is the demo directory as you can see currently it's having only one file in the same manner we will write another program for another function so here this one will return subtraction of a and b and we also save the in the same directory so sub dot c so what we want to do we want to create a library and that library should be having definition for these two functions so the first step we have to do we have to compile our functions so first we need to move into the directory okay so now we are in demo directory so first we will compile our both files so minus the this is for only compilation it will not generate any executable file for add.c we will do the same thing for sub.c as well so as you can see now we are having two object file so the next thing we will create a static library so for creating a static library we will use command ar rs now uh, in linux static libraries they are having some convention like uh, every library has to begin with lib and uh, those library will be having a dot a extension so let's say we want to create a static library with name basic so it will be like lib basic dot a because lib you have to put in front of every library name and dot a it will be the extension for static library so we have specified the name then we need to specify the object file dot o so static library is generated so the next thing we need to create a header file so in this header file we will just provide the signature for our function we will save this header file let's say basic.h so now what we are having header file we are having our library so what we will do we will delete these codes because now we don't need these so now uh, we are having a library and we are having a header file for this library so how we will use that so in order to use that we will write a program so in this program we need to include our header file basic.h So here we will call those function directly. Subtraction. Okay, we will save it. Let's say demo dot c. So now what we will do? We will compile this file. 
so if you will compile this file directly like gcc demo let's say demo.c so uh sometime you will get one error here in case if you are getting one error here what you have to do you need to compile this file like minus i dot so the meaning of this one is that whatever file we are including in demo.c those file is available in this path so single dot representing current directory and in case if you are not getting error you can use this command so we are having a object file for our program now at the time of execution we need to link this object file with this static library so there are two options one option is that uh, which we will see here in this option we will generate a executable file so the executable file name we want to give is demo and this is the object file for which we want to uh, generate a executable file and then we need to specify our static library so what this command will do this command will merge uh, library and this object file and generate a executable file so let's see this so executable file is generated let's execute it so it's working the another way is that let's delete it first so now we will see the another way another way is that G we will use this different version of the command we need to specify object file name then we will specify the path of the static library so minus the hyphen l actually used to specify the path where your static library is available and single dot represent current directory then we will specify our object code and here we need to give only l basic so l for library basic this is the name of our library that's it so this is a, the, another way to run, generate a executable file for your program so it's also working thank you very much for watching